Hey everybody, this is Richard. I am an IBO and servicing agent on the Arise platform. Today's video is going to show you how to, if your client uses VMware, how to make sure you tell VMware to use all of your monitors. Um, at least through some of the classes I've been through that use VMware uh, as the Hey everybody, my name is Richard and I am an IBO and servicing agent on the Arise platform. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust your VMware uh, Horizon client or the, the system or software used to access your virtual environment for the client you're servicing. How to tell it to use all the monitors if your client uh, utilizes more than one monitor or if you have more than one monitor and you'd like to use more than just the one monitor for the client you're servicing. Uh, VMware should natively, as long as your system is set up properly uh, on the Windows aspect uh, with all of your monitors showing up, it should work out of the box or it should work upon installation. Uh, but sometimes you'll notice that your Windows, once you open up your virtual environment, uh, that some windows uh, may not appear properly or or you just can't use that second or third monitor uh, once you open up your your virtual environment and this video is going to show you how to make sure you tell it to so this here is a generic uh, virtual environment access point here basically uh, this is once you get logged in uh, with whatever login means you have um, and this is the actual physical uh, virtual desktop that you would be accessing. Now, before you double click into your virtual access or your virtual desktop here, what you're going to want to make sure you do is right click on it. You're going to go down to settings and you're going to get this pop up box. A couple of things you want to make sure that your the name of the virtual desktop is selected. So in this example, we're going to uh, put our mouse on OCC and make sure it's selected. What you want to make sure here is that you have all monitors selected. It's highly recommended to allow desktop scaling. And then you want to click all or any of the gray squares that you see here. These represent the monitors that you have connected to your system. Now again, coming into this video, you saw that my squares were gray. And theoretically, they should still work. But if they're not, and you come in and, and you have either gray squares or you have one green and one gray, just double check and go ahead and make sure that they're both checked and they're green. You'll hit apply. You'll hit OK. And then go ahead and try and access your virtual environment. Uh, at that point and what I can do while I have you here is we can go ahead and condense this into one one video it'll be real quick on how to make sure that your monitors are set up properly what you'll do is in the gray here or in, on your desktop I apologize what I will do is I will go and minimize this on your desktop you're gonna right click go to display settings and let me drag this down because I am, am only recording part of my screen here. You want to make sure that when you click identify, the numbers that you see pop up on your monitor. For example, the number one here. That the monitor mapping is how you are physically seeing it as you're looking at your monitors. So for example, my monitor one is on the left. My monitor two with that you don't see is on my right. So that's how I have it. If my monitor two is on the left, this is how I would, I would set windows up to reflect that. And what happens if you don't do that and there, your monitor mapping is not correct. When I would move my mouse to the left side of one, it would actually come up to the right side of two. 
and that's if it looked like this. So for example, monitor one, if I moved it all the way to the left, well, I have nothing on my left hand side. So what would happen in this example is it would pop over on my right monitor and that's not what we want. What we want is if I am on my second monitor and I move it to the left, that it pops, my mouse comes over onto the right side of my, my left monitor. So to hit, basically hit identify, look at all your monitors, and make sure your monitor mapping is how your monitors are set up in front of you. All right. Now, the second way to access this, let's say you don't have this screen and it automatically launches your virtual desktop. Once you minimize your virtual desktop, and you do that by going up to the very top of your main monitor, the monitor that is indicated as your number one monitor. And you're going to see a little gray menu bar pop down. Just minimize, click the line next to the square, minimize it, and you're going to see something down here in your taskbar. Now you won't see it. Actually, yes, you should see it. It's going to be this little green icon here. And you'll know that's uh, you'll know that it's it when you right click on it and it says show VMware Horizon Client. Just right click on it and go to settings. Again, you need to be logged in. And right here you'll select your virtual desktop, the name of the virtual desktop, and again, make sure they're all green. And again, you may have to uh, doing that again. You may have to click your little up arrow here to show your hidden icons, but it's the green circle or it may look like a, a computer monitor. But when you hover over, it'll say VMware Horizon Client. Just right click and go to settings and you'll get this screen. But that's only after you get to the part to where you double click to launch your virtual screen or your virtual desktop here. So you can do it here, right click settings, or down here in your taskbar, right click on the VMware Horizon Client icon and go to settings. And that is how you pull it up. And that is how you make sure that VMware is going to use all of your monitors. Again, feel free to replay this video if you have any questions or you need to do that step by step. And again, my name is Richard. Welcome to the Arise platform and good luck.